Now, on this channel, I am one of the few channels out there. Now, do we want to make some predictions? Do we want to make some predictions? Okay. Is he going to look at any kind of fact check like we did where they talk about what it could be, what it probably is, what it probably isn't using, you know, data analysts and experts in the field of, you know, search queries and shit like that? Is he going to do that? about Google purposely hiding search results. That is something that I am super curious about. So on the topic of Donald Trump assassination getting, when was this posted? Or when was this article from? Oh, this is November 15th of 2019. I'm super curious. Trump assassination, what should I, not throttled, what's like the correct term? Manip manipulated censored thank you i was thinking too i was thinking too much of like technical speak I, I i just don't trust looking at new york post or fox news for this well maybe fox business but i don't know how skewed they are actually off the top of my head forbes is usually okay okay well let's look at some of these oh and ap we love ap here Fact focus. Google autocomplete results around Trump lead to claims of election interference. With fewer than 100 days until the 2024 election, social media users are claiming that a lack of Google autocomplete results of, about former President Donald Trump and his attempted assassination is evidence of election interference. Didn't Elon Musk earlier today ban white dudes for Kamala Harris Twitter account because they raised $3.5 million for her campaign? Did anybody did anybody hear about that? Uh, because I there's got to be a, a reason why they, they had to have had a reason, right? Did they state what the reason is? Well, thank you for telling me that, Tron. Everybody stay on Twitch, okay? Oh. <laughs> for the past five minutes, my phone has been getting all of my it's been speech to text. Texting my girlfriend. Oops. Let me just delete all of that. Hey, Cotta Boy, how's it going? All righty. No, it's all good. We were, we were just talking about Trump stuff. She agrees with me on everything because I'm right about everything. That's something that you guys are going to learn about me if you just got rated in. <laughs> You're going to learn a lot about me. Like, I'm always correct. You should learn that too, average debate enjoyer. Um, okay. Many posts include screenshots showing that what the autocomplete feature, which predicts what users are trying to type, has generated for text, such as attempted assassination of TR, President Donald, among the pictured results of the for former phrase, wait, among the pictured results for the former phrase are references to other assassination attempts, including that of Harry Truman and Gerald Ford, but nothing for Trump. The latter provides two options, President Donald Duck, which is funny as hell, and President Donald Reagan. Multiple high-profile figures, including Trump and sitting members of Congress, promoted the claim across social media platforms, collectively amassing more than 1 million likes and shares by Tuesday. Trump did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Google attributed the situation to existing protections against autocomplete protection, or predictions associated with political violence, noting that no manual action was taken to suppress information about Trump. Okay, I think I understand. So what Google is saying is that the they have like search results throttled that could imply that you're either searching for or planning on doing something that would be harmful to a politician or po doing political violence. So it, it's not strange that that would be throttled. That's their explanation. Let me see here. Man, okay. Okay, hold on. We were in the middle of watching something, okay? So we have we have the basic facts of or the basic overview of what Google said the issue was. Now, let's look into just a little bit deeper into things. Search engine experts said that there are many reasons that could explain why autocomplete results concerning the former president were not appearing. Here's a closer look at the at the facts. Google is engaged, or the claim is Google is engaging in election interference by censoring autocomplete results about former Donald or f former President Donald Trump. I can't speak today, including the assassination attempt at his Pennsylvania rally on July 13th. The facts. 
It is true that Google's autocomplete feature as of Monday was not finishing certain phrases related to Trump and the assassination attempt as shown in screenshots spreading online. But there is no evidence that it was related to election interference. Uh, it's even scary that Amazon will sell your data to Google. So even if you've never done a Google search before, they might know your habits. That's crazy. I The, the data stuff, there should be like a, a data bill of rights. I, I think that the EU did something like that recently, or maybe they're thinking about doing something like that. But like basically, it, it's like a, a set of legal out like a, a legal outline for the things that you have a right to anonymity or like not to be tracked about you know and that just should be the case i understand that data is really important for these large companies um, especially now in the in the era of ai but uh, it, it, the the data stuff and the AI stuff and basically everything on the internet, there needs to be like a massive overhaul in how we approach the internet in general because tech bros are like super soying out about like, oh, we can get so much more data. We can get so much more data if we do this. And it's like, man, but like whose expense, man, you know? And by this point, what do... What do I have left to hide? Well, yeah, see, like, that's the problem. That's that's how I think about it, too. I think about it like, well, at this point, like, I I didn't know about, like, all of the data stuff until probably 2020, probably 2021, right? I thought, like, most of it was, before that, I thought most of it was just hand-wringing and shit like that. It, not really actually that scary, but, like, the more I've learned about it, the the more stuff that they have access to and the more ways that they sell that data or the way that data is accessed by third parties that you wouldn't expect is pretty, pretty worrying. And I think that there should be some massive overhaul in the way that we engage with, you know, online stuff. Anyways, let's continue. By Tuesday, some of the same terms were providing some of the same terms were providing relevant autocomplete results. The text President Donald now also suggests Donald Trump as a search option. Similarly, the phrase attempted assassination of includes Trump's name in the autocomplete predictions. Adding TR to the same phrase, though, makes the option dis disappear. Really? Okay, so if you do attempted assassination, but if you do it like that, it's like that. Okay, got you depending on how you phrase it. I think I saw like a, a news story on that, like a 60 minutes thing long, long time ago. So I don't remember any of it. Let's see here. Completed searches about Trump and the assassination attempt done on both Monday and Tuesday yielded extensive relevant results, regardless of what the autocomplete predictions came up. Google told the Associated Press that its autocomplete feature has automated protections regarding violent topics, including for searches about a theoretical assassination attempts. The company further explained that its systems were out of date even prior to July 13th, meaning that the protections already in place couldn't take into account that an actual assassination attempt had occurred. Additional autocomplete results now appearing about Trump are the result of systemic improvements rather than from targeted manual fix that will affect many other topics, according to the company. We're rolling out improvements about our autocomplete systems uh, to show more up-to-date predictions, Google told the Associated Press in a statement. The issues are beginning to resolve and will continue to make improvements as needed. As always, predictions change over time and there may be some imperfections. I forgot reading articles makes me yawn for some reason. Autocomplete helps save people time, but they can always search for whatever they want and we will continue to connect them with helpful information. Search engine experts told the AP they didn't see any evidence of su suspicious activities on Google's part and that there are plenty of other reasons to explain why there have been a lack of autocomplete predictions about Trump. Um, it's very plausible that there's nothing nefarious here, that it's other systems that are set up for neutral or good purposes that are causing these query suggestions to not show up, said Michael Ekstrand, an assistant professor at Drexel University who studies AI-powered information access systems. I don't have a reason... I don't have a reason not to believe Google's claim. I don't have a reason not to. I have no reason to... I don't have a reason to disbelieve. Man, 
Sorry. I don't have a reason not to believe Google's claim that this is just normal systems for other purposes, particularly around political violence. We'll finish the article out. All right, I'll try and read it a little bit faster for you guys because I know that reading articles can be very boring for some people. Thorsten Joachim's... I think I'm saying that right. Thorsten Joachims, a professor at Cornell University who researches uh, machine learning for search engines, explained that autocomplete tools typically work by looking at queries people make frequently over a certain period of time, providing the most frequent completions of those queries. Beyond that, a search engine may automatically prune predictions based on concerns such as safety and privacy. This means that it's plausible that Google's autocomplete feature wouldn't have accounted for recent searches about the assassination attempt on Trump, especially if its systems indeed had not been updated since before the shooting. Depending on how big the window is that they're averaging over, that may simply not be a frequent query, Joaquim said, and it may not be a candidate for autocompletion. He added that it's typical not to update a search model on a daily basis given the cost and technical risk involved. <coughs> A 2020, man, it's so hard to read. I think it's like, I think you yawn because you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain in a given time, and that's why you yawn. I'm, I'm yawning because I'm speaking, and I guess I'm not breathing well enough while I'm speaking while reading the article. This happens every time. All right. A 2020 Google blog post about its autocomplete feature describes how the system reflects previous searches and why users might see certain predictions, including those that are violent in nature. The post also explains that predictions may vary based on variables such as users' location, the language they speak, or rising interest in a topic. Both Ekstrand and Joachim's agree that providing bias in a complex system like Google's search engine from the outside would be extremely difficult. It would require much more data than just a couple of searches, for example, and would risk setting off the company's protections against data scraping, reverse engineering, and fraud. In general, claims that platforms are taking particularly or particular targeted actions against specific people. <sighs> Jesus, I wish that didn't happen. Um, claims that platforms are taking particular t targeted actions against specific people on political basis are hard to substantiate. He said, sometimes I'm sure they sometimes I'm sure happen, but there's so many other explanations that it's difficult to substantiate such, cla such claims. Joachim's know that the demographics of Google's, Google's user base could impact the results of such a study if they skewed towards one side of the political aisle or another, and therefore search more of their political or their preferred candidate. Uh, in other words, the way the system works would make it difficult to probe the system. Technical issues aside, limiting autocomplete predictions as a method of political influence could simply be bad for business. Even if Google, uh, Google would like to do that, I think it would be a very bad decision because they could lose a lot of users. Ricardo... Baez Yates, a professor at Northeastern University whose research includes web research or web search and information retrieval. All right, we got through the article. So now we know there are a lot of different explanations that could be used to explain why it is. Google has one, one explanation about autocomplete results not being updated on a continual basis because of security risks, both for data scraping and reverse engineering their site. So that seems reasonable. Um, it also seems like they have some protections to delist any search queries that could be seen as politically violent in nature, which also tracks with a lot of different things that we've seen both from them and from the government asking them to do that, even under Donald Trump's administration, especially under Donald Trump's administration. So that doesn't seem unlikely that that also happened. I also just don't think that this sort of, this sort of thing is reasonable to assume it's real just off the bat that there is some malicious intent behind it. I think that that's pretty insane because it would be so easy to like prove that they're doing that. It seems right. Like, Oh look, we, we do this. And if there's no other reason, Hey, thank you for 200 bits parallax. I'm still up from the rearranging guts comment earlier. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a better person. I'm becoming a better person and I'm going to stop using things like that okay i keep on i i'm such a idiot unpin this message okay we don't need to pin every message so graphic yeah it was graphic but like do you did you notice how they didn't immediately say no it took like me saying the the 
silence from the no of no nose is so telling. Like only then did they say, oh, well, of course not. That would be ridiculous. But you had to be prompted to say no. That's the problem. But I do have a I do have a future. I do have a you know a career that I would like to have in at least one of two different fields that it would probably just be not a good idea to say things like that. And it's not a good look. There's probably better ways to do. His no wasn't even a real no. I know. Someone smarter than you disagrees. I did a Google News search about Donald Trump. Google News changed it to Harris Donald Trump and proceeded to show me only news that favors Harris over Donald Trump. Uh, okay, it's just, it's not doing that. I just don't. Not something I judge for. Yeah, no, no. I I am people that I know and trust. Conservatives that I know and trust say, you know, you probably shouldn't do that. They understand what I'm doing, but I shouldn't do it. And I listen to the people around me. I trust the people around me. But hey, Parallax, again, thank you for the 200 bits. Again, once again, for all the people watching, this is my only form of income right now. I am still on the job hunt, all right? I'm still sniffing out those jobs. I'm putting in the, the applications on Indeed. But if you guys want to help a brother out, especially because this is the last day of the month, if you guys want to give me some subarinos, if you guys want to gift some subs, if you guys want to use the donation link, your boy is poor he moved across the country and i am hungry both literally and figuratively to pay my bills and to eat so if you guys are feeling generous and you guys want to help a brother out there is a donation link uh, both on youtube and on twitch anyways Let's see what the quartering has to say about this the only the only good like Kamala Harris Kamala SVU. Is it on here? Do I want to upload it here? Hold on. I'm going to find this. I'm going to find this for you guys. Kamala SVU. Okay. It's not there. Where else can I find it? Oh, there we are. Oh, I found it. That tree? This is the only good music edit I've seen of Kamala Harris's laugh. I've seen actually way more than you would think. There's a lot of people who are making Kamala Harris laugh song mashups if i type ass into google as the third result see and isn't that a tragedy because there's so many great asses on the internet like why would we want to see the the stuff about the assassination attempt when we're typing in ass come on man this one is better you haven't even listened to this one how do you know that it's better you know what i'm going to watch yours first and i'm going to tell you are you prepared to be commander-in-chief yes i am if necessary i'm gonna turn it up Okay, this is AI rapping. This is not the same thing that I'm talking about, okay? But Are you So I think that that one's fine. But this edit, the way they sync up the laugh is very good. <laughs> you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> You exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. Coke, coke, coconut tree. The, the sorry, one more, one more, one more detour. Moving on from the memes, going back. Sorry, Tron, this is going to be hell for you to edit. Okay, I, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, genuinely. Okay, back to this. Or now you're going for no, no, no. He, I don't think. He, to sister, I think that that's a that's a different category here. You're thinking of pissing it into the floor. That's what this guy does. Okay. Anyways, I I'm going to make a prediction. This guy does not look for any explanation, and in the unlikely event that he does, and you know what, I will give him credit if he even does look for some kind of you know way to disprove it. I would be shocked if he doesn't immediately discount it out of hand that have openly committed to continuing to follow what happened on July 13th. It's frustrating to see most mainstream media, and that's not just Fox, but it's 
Fox, CNN, MSNBC, every major talking head. In fact, a lot of even my fellow content creators on on you know on the internet platforms have no longer s kept up on covering this event. And now it, the reason why this has fallen to the wayside, just so you guys know, is because I think that of anyone having an assassination attempt on them, Trump is the least surprising person for it to happen to. So that's one thing. Also, there's just so little came of it, right? Like, it's obviously bad, and it obviously is newsworthy, but he looks more like the doubling Jesus Christ parallax. <laughs> okay, that's good, all right? But I lost my entire train of thought. That was good. Oh, yeah, people, people are probably just, like, not that shocked by it. He wasn't seriously injured, right? The quarter pounder with cheesing. True. I, I, I have to stay on topic for my editor. I do it for my editor, okay? The Secret Service had resigned. Yeah, I mean, like, they, they've already had, like, consequences come out about this, right? No deeper conspiracy has come out. I think, like, the only new assess or what was the guy's name? I forget. It was, like, Crooks or something. Let me see here if they update on the FBI investigation of attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. It, there's only been like one update to that's like relevant to it, that doesn't involve the Secret Service's cuffs, right? While the investigation to date indicates uh, the shooter acted alone, the FBI continues to hold, conduct logistical investigative activity to determine if there were any co-conspirators associated with this attack. There's no current public safety concerns. Um, the FBI has not identified a motive for the shooter's action, which is another reason people stop really paying attention because if it was a like a Democrat, then this would still be news because they would have someone you know, to, to point to an attack. Right, but he was a registered Republican, so the Republicans stopped talking about that aspect. That was like the only thing that we learned about this kid, right? And we couldn't find until recently. One second, do they not have it on here? Thomas Matthew Crooks, that's his name. Damn. One second. Thomas Matthew Crooks. Search. Now, oh wait, this was just after. I think in like the past two or three days, they found a social media account associated with him. Is this like constantly updated or, oh, I don't want to know about the secret service aspect. There we go. The FBI said Thomas Matthew Crooks may have had hid anti-Semitic, anti-immigrant social, social page. Oh, cool. I have to pay for everything. Jesus Christ. Did I say something bad here? But he looks more like the doubling. Okay, I, it was just me laughing. Okay, good. I'm always scared that I'm gonna say something bad and get rebanned immediately, dude. Jesus. Oh, really? Sorry, that's interesting. Oh, this is just Donald Trump. Hold on, where's the search tab that I was looking? July 19th. Can we go to news and find something that's more recent? Hindustan Times? I, I don't know any of these. Okay, this is a Reuters repost. Got it. Thank God. We trust Reuters. The man who tried to assassinate Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump appears to have posted violent anti-Semitic and anti-immigration uh, content online as a teenager, a senior FBI official told the U.S. Senate hearing on Tuesday. Something just very recently uncovered that I want to share is a social media account which is believed to be associated with the shooter in about the 2019 to 2020 time frame, um, adding more that more than 700 comments were posted by the account. Some of these comments, if ultimately attributable to the shooter, appear to reflect anti-Semitic and anti-immigration themes to espouse political violence and are described as extreme in nature. I wish we had access to see what some of those things were, but because there's so little information, the point of what I'm trying to say is because there's so little information and what information is coming out is coming out in very slow little trickles, people just aren't as... I tried letting him use my news accounts. I, I, listen, we can retry and do that, but I forgot that that, that happened. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, like there's, there's reasons why this has fallen to the wayside in terms of news coverage. It's just because of the nature of 
who Donald Trump is, how unsurprising it is that someone would try to assassinate him, the relative like lack of information about anything about the shooter. No one knows anything about him, it seems. So nobody, nobody knows. The account is disputed. Okay, so the account is disputed. So we might not even have that information, right? So hold on. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is conflicting accounts relating to social media account. I want to see what the disputing is. Oh, it was on Gab? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, they've released the name of it. Epic Microwave. Epic Microwave, of course. I forgot that Gab even existed. Didn't the the owner of Gab like go crazy at the end of 2020 or something? So there's disputing information. So we don't know anything about the shooter. We don't have any confirmed information about the shooter. That's just like bolstering what I'm trying to say here, which I'm getting way too caught up in the weeds. But... We, we don't know anything. Nobody knows anything about the shooting. Trump didn't get seriously injured. So, like, it, it, there's not, like, a constant reminder walking around. Like, the the ear band-aid is already off. So, people aren't seeing it every single moment of every single day when he's walking around. So, of course, people are going to stop paying as much attention to it. It's not playing as much of a role as you would think that it would. Yeah. You haven't been banned again already? Yeah. Listen, brother, I'm being careful, all right? But... Yeah, so like it, it's not like there's some conspiracy to, to hide all of this stuff. It's just the fact that it's th there's not enough to go off of. Also, this race to blame shit is getting annoying. Yeah, it the race to blame stuff is annoying, but I mean, if there was a time to like unequivocally show that like we know what the motives for were and what he was doing it for and et cetera, et cetera. I think that the attempted assassination of a presidential candidate would probably be that yellow gay sock gang. You know what? I'm actually considering keeping the yellow sock instead of putting an actual pop filter on just to, just to freak people out. Every major talking head. In fact, a lot of even my fellow content creators on, on, you know, on the internet platforms have no longer kept up on covering this event. And now even Google is getting involved in, you know, removing searches for people that want to learn more about it. We're also going to go over some of the burning questions that still exist that could end up cracking the case and some other wild, um, you know, some wild claims by, you know, the FBI and CIA, uh, because it's funny, you know, why was the FBI, you know, why were they investigating whether or not, you know, what, you know, what actually hit Trump? Why were they even spending the whole world could see? You know, because you want to know every aspect of what went down, if they were aiming for Trump specifically, or if they were aiming for someone else, if he was incidental, like, yeah, it might seem like a stupid question, but like, you have to know every single thing about a crime scene to get a full picture of what's going on. You can't just like make assumptions on stuff. In 4K. All right, so let me get into some of the interesting... I mean, like, even I, when I, like... And everyone was making, like, these claims about, like, oh, the bull didn't actually clip Trump's ear. It was... He shot wide, and it hit the teleprompter, and the glass hit his ear, which seemed more likely, because he didn't, like, rock it back. And his ear doesn't look like it had that much damage to it. So I assumed... I assumed, like, a bullet would do way more... But that's the only reason why I thought that, not because it would make the attempt any less, you know, bad, but just because, you know, interesting. Shrapnel, yeah. It's fine to look into motive, but it seems Congress and the public are asking questions to look for political motive. Yeah, the political motive is, like, kind of important. Are asking questions to look for political motive as the presumption, because he's Donald Trump. Of course, that is the presumption. So you ways to prove that presumption instead of looking into the actual motives. Well, everyone is looking into the actual motives, but we can't find actual motives. So all we can do is go off of the presumptions, which is like if you're doing any kind of honest analysis, if someone tried to kill either Joe Biden or Donald Trump, the reason is likely political. It would be incredibly surprising if a 20-year-old had personal beef with Donald Trump to the point where he wanted to kill Donald Trump. Right? I keep on accidentally pinning messages because I highlight what I read. Let's say hypothetically he made comments towards one candidate or another. What relevance does that have unless it's somehow shown that those comments are directly tied to his motive? Well, you're, you're yeah. 
Wait, am I misunderstanding what you're saying? Let's say hypothetically he made comments towards one candidate or another. What relevance does that have unless it's somehow shown that those comments are directly tied to his motive? They would be part of piecing together what the motive was. I think it wasn't political, just wanting to make the biggest splash. He researched Biden too. It, that's possible, but I need you to, yeah. Not totally disagreeing that it could be. What I'm saying is that there is a right way to look into political motive as a viable motive versus looking into the views to somehow point to the to blame the party and to somehow point to and instead of seeking the motive. Oh, I, I understand what you're saying now. We agree. You're just wording it in a very strange way to me. Yeah, I, I think that we like 100% agree, but like... I, I guess I think it's just way more reasonable for people to have like a baseline assumption based off of who he is and the event that he was, there was an attempted assassination at, you know? All right, let's go. Cover-ups. And because of these cover-ups, all I can ask is that you leave a like on the video, comment on it, and just as important... You're so... You're, you're so... You're you're so throttled. You're so horror. Like everything is so bad for you. They're 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 censoring you in real time right now. Share it out. Pick whatever your favorite social media platform is and put it out there. You have 1.71 million subscribers. You're so censored, my guy. And subscribe and follow the channel. I will I will cover this as long as I can continue to get information. Also, you know, if you're an insider, I've started having some local law enforcement email me. It looks like so I will report on it. You know, you have someone out there that's willing to report on this. Here's some of the weird stuff that we've seen from intelligence agencies, okay? We had, what was this, Friday? Wait, hold on, what hold on. Was I it? want to see what his um, search history was. From intelligence was. agencies, okay. His recent searches were MK Ultra CIA, Moist Critical Logan Paul, Kamal Record Store, Axios Borders are, Can I Be Mean Trump, Trump Mean, what is Twipples? I like seeing people's search history, sorry. Okay. We had, what was this, Friday? What day was it exactly? You know, yes, you know, the FBI was forced to investigate and report on Friday that it was indeed, it was indeed a bullet that struck him. Did anybody, was anybody on the planet asking that question? Was, yes. Was anybody saying, gee, I wonder what that was? No, it was a fake news, weird narrative spread by the leftist mainstream media like CNN and MSNBC that it was shrapnel. Weirdos like Joy Reid getting on their platforms and saying, we don't even know what it was. It could have been shrapnel. It nobody been. with a pair of eyes. Nobody with a pair. I'm sorry, Mr. Quartering. Do you, did you have like ultra 4K high death, like 5,000 frames per second footage? That you could slow down and specifically see the bullet flying towards Donald Trump? No? Do your keen eyes see in the 720p video from a phone 200 feet away, zoomed in, you, you somehow have the eyes to see the bullet flying through the air? Anybody with eyes can tell that it wasn't shrapnel? No. <laughs> it's likely that it was the bullet. The FBI confirmed that it was the bullet. It's probably like you know, not unreasonable to believe that it was the bullet, but can you conclusively say without a shadow of a doubt, without any more information than the video that you saw that there was not just shrapnel that hit his ear? Shut the f*** up. A pair of eyes was like, gee, I wonder what hit him. But nope, the FBI had to investigate that because that's normal. There was a an image allegedly where the bullet rips through the air. Well, the bullet, you might see, you might see like a bullet path. There, the, maybe he was using hypersonic ammunition that created, you know, a, a jet stream behind it, right? Well, did anything in the environment break? Well, I, I believe a teleprompter did get shattered. And I don't know at what point, but I believe that that was where that idea came from. They actually caught the bullet in frame. But can you tell from that still, can you tell from that still that it was going to hit Donald Trump? My lefty is showing? I'm sorry. I don't remember what the term is when something is going above the speed of sound and there's there it's breaking the sound barrier and there's some sort of, you know, that, that cloud that forms around the plane, right? I'm pretty sure that can happen with some some bullets and shit, right? 
but I I don't remember what that specific thing is called. It wasn't subsonic ammunition, I don't think. Yeah, but there's like a specific name for the for the vapor cone is all I'm saying. Now, of course, the CIA has come out to deny. Was there even a question that Trump was shot at? I don't think that that was the case. I think that most people believe that he was shot at. You know, he's desperate. Look at his chart and subs for the last couple of days. It's been 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Is that bad? June, they went down for some reason. Oh, this is just how many they gained. Gotcha. 40K subs down? Monthly gained subscribers. Yes, I'm a human. Thank you. It feels like... He's been growing. I don't think that he's. It's thirty three percent down. Yeah, I do, yeah, I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, we're continuing. That they used MK Ultra on this person. True. Scene. Well, golly gee, Willikers, the CIA denied doing it. End of story. Leave a like on the video. It's over. We know. No. I, I I'm so I'm so irritated by this sort of thing. Like, there's just no. There's just, it's unfalsifiable. It's unfalsifiable. The CIA can deny doing something, but if you just like automatically distrust literally everything that the government ever does, then the government always does everything. Except for the things that they don't do, in your opinion, even though they are doing something. What do you expect? How many writers or intellectuals? And listen, I'll give you grace on this one, doghouse, all right? I'll give you right-wingers some grace on this. There's very few like news, alt-media correspondents on either side of the political aisle that I think are good places to get news or opinions from, right? <laughs> With my you know, myself being the exception. But, you know, I can't wait for the FBI to grill us when Panda does this next. Oh, Jesus Christ, chill, dude. You know what? It's kind of weird. We haven't seen Panda all day long. That's not normal. That's weird. You're going to summon him, Nair. Chill. Oh, that the CIA was not involved. They said they weren't. Leave a like on the video right now because I've brought you the absolute evidence. Everything's good now. You can just go back to watching your bread and circus, eating your bread and watching the circus. The CIA has said they did not use their very public MK Ultra program that has been declassified. They said the MK Ultra program was declassified and it ended in the 70s. Right? MK Ultra halted in 1973. It began in 1953 and was halted in 1973. MK Ultra is no longer still in effect. What is this guy talking about? Because I. One second. Normal. Now, of course, the CIA has come out to deny that they used MK Ultra on this person. Well, golly gee. Does this guy even know what MK Ultra is? Because I'm pretty sure the only thing that MK Ultra was was them trying to find a truth serum. And they used various different, you know, substances like acid, LSD, you know, shrooms. They used all sorts of shit like that. Sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal and sexual abuse, and other forms of torture was preceded by Project Artichoke to develop procedures and identify drugs that could be used during interrogations to weaken individuals to, uh, and force confessions through brainwashing and psychological torture. And it's no longer happening. I'm pretty sure we have a good accounting of what Matthew Thomas Crooks was doing for most of his life. It's just that he has a very uneventful life. So when would they have had time to kidnap him while he's living with his parents for them not to notice, to MK Ultra him, into being a Manchurian candidate shooter. My cousin informed me that my news is too li that Fox News is too liberal. Man, let me flip the script. If the government was shown to lie more than tell the truth, wouldn't you be more likely to be correct in presuming the opposite of their? They are, but I I, I would have to think about that. But I think yes, they are more truthful than not because it is so. There are so many avenues by which people can fact check the government there are so many ways by which the government could get for lying and when they do get fact checked for lying it's really bad but the problem is when they're caught lying it's like a big story and everybody freaks the fuck out but they but they miss all of the they they miss all of the like truths that are told along the way right 
So if you go like three years and the government's lying about one thing, but on every other public statement that they're they're saying, they're giving factual information, they're telling you exactly what's going on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even if there's spin to it, they are telling you the information. Because that one lie over the course of three years amongst a thousand truths, that whole fiasco with Facebook losing their user data to Russia or whatever the f caught them caught them a fine that amounted to one day of revenue. Because like what like there's probably statutes for like what the maximum minimum and all of that stuff is. Now it's not to say that that's good or that they shouldn't have fined them more than that. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't have a a statement on that. But that's so completely like so far away from what we're talking about here, right? I I think that like people's brains got broken by like the Iraq War and all of the fallout of that. And now everything that the government ever says is a lie. There's nothing that you can ever tr trust. Instead, we can trust, you know, Joe Rogan on the internet. One second. Okay. Let me see here. The handlers for MK Ultra moved onto other things. Okay. But what does that mean to this? You know? Okay. Let me see here. Let's keep going. G Willikers. If the CIA denied doing it, end of story. Leave a like on the video. It's over. We know, know that the CIA was not involved. They said they weren't. Leave a like on the video right now because I've brought you the absolute evidence. Everything's good now. You can just go back to watching your bread and circus, eating your bread and watching the circus. The CIA has said they did not use their very public MK Ultra program that has been declassified. They it's not still in operation. It's not still in operation. So yeah, they probably didn't use MK Ultra. They didn't go back to, you know, 1969 and then teleport Thomas Matthew Crooks to 1969 in a, in, a, in a period of time that nobody was able to notice him missing and him come back seemingly just as normal as he was before in order to assassinate Donald Trump. Said they didn't do it. Everybody can sleep. Everyone can sleep good at night. FBI has said, yes, indeed, it was a bullet, as if anyone was asking. And now the M and then now the CIA has come out to say, oh, well, <laughs> you know, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Denial is practically the new endorsement. But this is what they've said, okay? Now Google, this is going around. Now, I've been, I've tried several different ways to, several different ways to confirm this. So when, you, when you're watching this, maybe let me know if it works for you. There's been a lot of videos out there, and you can see even with... Um, browsers That's that appear to be you. in um, incognito mode, they are. I can't respond to everything because I kind of do want to get through this video because next we need to move on to the actual subject of today's stream. But I'll this will be the last thing that I like directly respond to. All right. My point being that if this Facebook slap on the wrist is the sort of punishment you can expect for this sort of falsehood, you must presume that the incentives for would be at minimum perceived as negligible. Show me the last exit. Well, that's not necessarily true because the financial slap on the wrist might be bad but like the promise of hey thank you so much for the five dollars abby i really appreciate that because this is my only form of income right now and the alerts are working for youtube but not for twitch i don't know why that is but i appreciate that buddy um but just because the financial slap on the wrist was like very minor all things considered you have to think about like the idea that well they might have gotten a financial slap on the wrist, but there might have been, you know, the promise of if this happens again, you're going to be criminally like someone's going to be criminally held liable. I don't know the, the facts of that case. Right. But there might have been some understanding between Facebook and the government that said, hey, listen, this is what your punishment is now, because this is the first time this has happened. If it happens again, something really bad is going to happen to you. If we don't see some kind of massive shift in the way that you do your uh, cybersecurity to protect Americans' data, then you're going to, you know, <laughs> or we're going to pull you in front of Congress and we're going to berate you and then we're going to pass some legislation that you don't want to happen. And that'll be way worse than literally anything you could imagine, you know? So that's that's what I'm thinking. Show me the last execution carried out for a politician or CIA op lying to the American people, figurative execution or otherwise. Yeah, but I guess that that would have to be like very, very blatant and very, very blatantly illegal and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, we would have to we have to look at it because I, I don't know. I don't have like deep history into like every scandal that the, the government's ever been in. That's just not something I've ever 
taken time to look into, you know? Anyways, let's continue. Blocking people trying to research this. When you Google that the attempt on Donald now Trump... again, remember that 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 wager that 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 guess that. One second, what was what? Um, I, at the beginning of this, I was like, "Do you think that he's going to look up anything that could be like a, a reasonable explanation?" Because I mean, it took us just a couple of seconds to find multiple articles, and we read through the entire AP fact check on this, right? And it's not saying that it definitely didn't happen. Want Ethereum in your portfolio? Be quiet. They're not saying that like it's impossible that Google did try to throttle those those search queries, but according to Google itself and a bunch of independent, you know, web dev people, it seems like there's way more explanations that are way more reasonable. Anyways, let's see if he brings up any counter, you know, counter argument to Google just wanting to have everyone believe that Donald Trump didn't get assassinated for some reason. Trump, it does not come up as an auto-suggested search at the time of this post. The cover-up continues. Welcome to 1984. Here's the video. I'm not going to play the music. You can see they try to type in this. Okay. And then it brings up Reagan, Fidel Castro, Gerald Ford. He didn't like, want to say the Google H word. Like, hey, this, we're Google. This is the, we, we pride ourselves on providing people the important information that they're looking for. Obviously, the searches for this term will be, have, have never been higher. Okay. But they're like, uh, we're not going to have, we're not going to have it. In a if you're still using Google search engine in 24, 2024, that's your fault. <laughs> Listen, it's convenient. All right. Gets me what I need most of the time. You know, we're not going to have an autocomplete. I mean, you can type the whole thing in there. Nothing. You got all the way down to T-R-U-M-P, nothing. I suspect. And once again, the explanation for this is, let's go ahead and just look at what Google told the AP that its autocomplete feature has automated protections regarding violent topics, including for searches about theoretical assassination attempts. The company further explained that its systems were out of date even prior to July 13th, meaning that the protections already in place couldn't take into account that an actual assassination attempt occurred. Um, and the reason it was out of date was pretty reasonable. Where, where, well, where was it? Da, 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 da. Here it is. Uh, both Ekstrand and Joachim's agreed that uh, proving bias in a complex system like Google's search engine from the outside would be extremely difficult. It would require much more data than just a couple of searches, for example, and would risk setting off the company's protections against data scraping, reverse engineering, and fraud, which, if you don't want those things to happen through Google, it's no more convenient than any other major search engine. Yeah, but it's the default on all my stuff. And I don't have as much, you know, computer know-how or like care as most people. I, I say as most people. I'm probably part of the most people because Google is still the biggest search engine. But it seems like there are very reasonable explanations for why... It's been controversial if Google should do this, but Google said they auto-block suggestions for violent or sexual terms. They try to be family-friendly. The reason why I used an older article shows we knew about this for years. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I, I was just looking for something specific about this to see if there was an explanation. Okay. I hate to be a conspiracy brain here, but I think that you just have to be agnostic about this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust Google to be able to accurately investigate their programs. Well, it, it's not just Google. It's also like other experts in the field of like, web development and web searching. So those people said that it, it seems unlikely that they would be able to do this pretty, like they don't have a good reason to do that, you know? In fact, this is also true on YouTube. So if you're a YouTube viewer, you know, make sure you're helped by always subscribing to my channel, turning notifications on and sharing the videos. Like, Yeah, but it would be a reasonable explanation if it was malicious, but you have to prove that they're being malicious, which you can't really prove. There's like no proof of that. And in order to make the claim, then you have to... This is Google in real time. I mean, <clears throat> what will they say? Like, you can see on president, nope, nothing there. Multiple variations of this search query, nothing. In fact, they, pre they present Truman instead of Trump. Now, in real time, it appears that this is still being blocked. So I, I don't know, you know, what else you need to see. Why is Google blocking this? Shouldn't Ameri Don't you think Americans are looking for this information? By the way, if you Google it, there's like two articles showing up. You mean to tell me the entire media apparatus has only written two articles in the last three days about this? Like when I'm looking for more information, like if I go to Google, right? And then like, you see mine, but that's because it's a previous search. Here's one from four hours ago where Trump defends the Secret Service agent. Well, of course he has to. For him, he still has to rely on them to protect his life. 10 hours ago on Fox, 
five hours ago. So three articles today. You know, here's one brand new one from USA Today. Because there's no more Two information. Ago, there's most of the articles that Google is serving up. There's not a single new piece of information. No, there's not another single. There's there's no more information. Here's USA Today running a, running cover. We're talking about Secret Service after the, the Trump incident. Why aren't we talking about weapons? Why? This is an opinion piece. This is an opinion. This isn't news. He has no media literacy. That's what they're doing now. This is what they're doing. I told you, if you've been watching my videos and you've watching my streams, what did I tell you they were going to do? They were going to go after your 2A and then they're going to go after crypto, not crypto, encrypted applications, and they're going to go after foldable stocks. That's what they're going to do. And look at that 12 minutes ago, real time. That is a brand new article that came out since basically, you know, I've been covering this. That's exactly what they're doing. Now they're shifting the narrative. Isn't that interesting? Why are we talking about what appears to say? Why are they talking about what appears to say? What appears to be now they're like, oh, well, let's talk about your, let's get our, let's get our grab on. Look at this. We got David Hogue, everybody. Got to get David Hogue out there. Look at this. They're trotting out this guy. It's an opinion piece. It's, a, it's not news. It's someone's opinion. This is the same media that's telling you she was never the border czar. Watch them in real time during, while I'm recording this. They're like, all right. Okay, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, all right, nobody cares about the colossal security failure or how this guy learned out. Except for all the news articles that you showed just a second ago. Trump and JD say they're going to push crypto if elected. Oh, God. Everything. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody knows anything about the guy that did it. Nobody's questioning the parents. Let's just talk about infringing on Americans. Come. Listen, we're going to have to speed run the rest of stream, okay? We, we're going to get through this and then we're going to go into the immigration stuff because I didn't realize that there was a, a time constraint for streaming today. Constitutional rights. I mean, I could have, if I was a betting man, I'd be very rich. You know, it, it's like, now they're like, well, Trump's defending Secret Service. Well, yeah, he has to. What is he supposed to do? They still have to protect him. Of course, that's what he's doing. Or maybe he actually respects the Secret Service. Like every single thing, every single fact, every single news article goes through his brain and all of the, all of the important information gets filtered out to like, it's like filtering out. It's like if you went to the forest, right? And you didn't, you couldn't find any clean water. And so you went to a stream and you created, you like got two bottles and you put sand and then you put charcoal and then you put big rocks and you put another layer of sand and another layer of charcoal to, to, you know, like purify the water. But like you, you somehow filter out all of the water and or yeah you filter out all of the water and then you just drink the sludge at the top that's left over like that's that's what watching the quartering is like there's all of these news things that he could be clicking on that could give you the information that you need or that you want to find but instead you're throwing all of that out even though it's on the screen you're throwing all of that out and you're getting this guy's the the refuse you're getting the refuse, just the sludge and the in the rocks in the in the sand at the top. You see, lives at TikTok. Hi Google, why are you censoring searches on this attempt on his life? You're trying to memory hole it. Everybody, oh God, I love monetized Twitter now. Everyone just posts the exact same screenshot, repost it. Anyway, you know, why do you think that is? At least Amuse put his own rap on it. You can type it all the way out. It makes no difference to Google. So petty. Failures in communication. Local SWAT details accounts of the rally attempt. We were supposed to get a face-to-face -face briefing with Secret Service members whenever they arrived, and that never happened. Secret Service did not coordinate with local law enforcement. Why oh, you... so we're watching now. We're reading an article about a separate topic, like it's still on the, under the same umbrella. Yeah, it's about the Trump assassination attempt. But I thought we were talking about the fact that Google is throttling this, and you're here reading a news article about this, saying that there's no more information. Nothing is coming out about this. How can you, how, how do people watch this and not realize how stupid it is? What do you think that is? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I don't know the answer to that. I can't know the answer to that. But why do you think that is? You know, why do you think that that might be? Why do you think that maybe they didn't coordinate with them? I don't know. I can't make any, might be. I don't know the answer to that. What is members, whenever they arrived and that never happened. Secret Service did not coordinate with local law enforcement. Why do you think that is? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I don't know the answer to that. I so are you, are you at all curious what it, what the actual answer is? Because you can use the Google search bar 
and you can look up what sort of thing, or you could just like watch the congressional hearings yourself. I know that you're like really lazy, but like you could just like watch the actual. Like you, you could even be, you could still be mad at the Secret Service and say that they're a bunch of pigs, but you would know what they said about this. I can't know the answer to that, but why do you think that is? You know, you why? can know the answer to that if you like watch the congressional hearings. You think that that might be? Why do you think that maybe? They didn't coordinate with them. I don't know. I can't make any guesses. We were supposed to get face to face. Never happened. Well, you can't even guess. Like maybe there was just like bad coordination, or maybe they like just got too comfortable and they shouldn't have been. Like that would be just as bad of an indictment of the Secret Service as anything that you're saying, right? And that would be a guess. That would be at least you know a reasonable guess. I don't think that any good information has come out, to be honest, about the like Secret Service mishaps. But, you know. So we think it was probably probably a pivotal point where I started thinking they were wrong because it never happened. They explained that they did not. They did what they could to try and thwart the attack. But now here we have to live with the failure. It's like these people talk about it like, well, I bought my kid an ice cream cone and there was two scoops of ice cream on it. And one of them fell into the ground. Oopsies. Oh, I mean, in my opinion. Every single member that was there that day should be getting to post. Every one of them on live TV, especially the ones in that building, especially the one that left early that day, especially the two that left their post at the absolute perfect time for Lee Tardy Oswald to go on the roof and take the shot. The, the, the Oswald name is possibly the, the funniest thing to come out like in the immediate aftermath of that. The only funny thing was, was that nickname. I want to know that the guy that conveniently forgot his, you know, he went outside to take a leak or whatever, forgot his ID card. So then the other guy abandoned his post, which is like day one military stuff. You don't abandon your post, right? Just chose to abandon his post and disappear for what must have been at least 10 or 15 minutes. What was he doing? This isn't like it was three hours before the event. Trump was on the stage. Look at all the information we had two weeks after the, tw uh, the towers. Look at all the information we had just two weeks after the towers. We had information that night. We knew who did it, right? We knew everything basically by, I think by now we knew we were going to war and we know nothing. Why was Donald Trump allowed to take the stage if there were active questions about security? Good question. Why and how was it, how I was the rooftop? Oh no, wait, what did he say? Sorry, I, I must've been reading chat. The event, Trump was on the stage. Look at all the information we had two weeks after the, tw uh, the towers. Look at all the information we had just two weeks after the towers. We had information that night. We knew who did it, right? We knew everything basically by... They, they... None of the, none of the people who hijacked the planes on 9-11 survived. So someone else had to claim responsibility. So yes, we probably had more information then because they said the, who they were, why, what they did, and why they did it. I think by now we knew we were going to war. And we know nothing. I don't think that we would go to war if a, a domestic a domestic terrorist shot the president. Who would we go to war with? Our own citizens? Why was Donald Trump allowed to take the stage if there were active questions about security? Good question. Why and how was it how why was the rooftop not secured? Good question. What made him do his attempt? What made him do this? Did he leave behind a manifesto? I can take one look at this guy's face and tell you had a manifesto. Look at him. There's no way he disappeared without writing a manifesto. I would bet and yet, and yet you have no, no proof that they're hiding anything. Why would they, if the, if the FBI were to find a manifesto, they would love that. They want to be the people that find these, these, these facts. They want to be the ones, they want to show everyone, hey guys, we're totally still worth, you know, funding in the federal government. We're doing good things. We found a manifesto. We proved who it was, why, who it was, where they were, and why they did it. At a large sum of money on it. Where is it? You mean to tell me, looking at this guy who looks like he spends 23 hours a day on Reddit, that he didn't have a manifesto? I don't believe you. Who, if anyone, was Crooks communicating with during these encrypted apps? Well, we know he's using encrypted apps. Who is he talking to? Who was he working with? How did he learn how to make these improvised devices? It's been two weeks and we know nothing. Have you, wait, there's like answers in those paragraphs, quartering. My guy, you're reading the beginning where they ask a question and then there's paragraphs under that that may give you the answers if you read them.
And if, if, if Trump doesn't win the presidency, by the way, we're never going to know anything. They're going to try to keep this covered up as long as they can. Well, I'm going to keep covering it. That's why if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel you're watching right now or follow it because I'm going to keep covering it. I'm going to keep doing what I can to keep the pressure on because this is insane. Okay. What a, what a horrible dive into the worst kind of alt media news person. My God, I can't believe. I can't believe there was nothing of substance there. And most of what he was complaining about, you could just do a Google search and find it. You look like a Reddit mod, Jeremy, and you got to judge someone's looks. True. Yes, I know. I, but see, like, when it comes to, like, engaging with conservatives, like, again, like, I, I'm hyping you guys up super hardcore, not just because I like you guys and know you guys, but because genuinely there are very few conservatives that I've interacted with that don't engage with this same kind of thought process, right? And to be fair, it's the same for like left-leaning people. I say left-leaning. I think it's more like for the leftists. Liberals still do have conspiratorial thinking, but like I, I, it's so hard to have a conversation with like a conservative that's a Trump supporter about stuff like this because it's always, well, we have so many questions and none of them are getting answered. Well, instead of a debate, it's just going to be me going through, like looking up news articles, reading them out loud and saying, okay, well, it looks like we have an answer for that. Do we have any other questions about it? Like, yeah, I'm not lumping you all together. I'm saying you're one of the good ones. You should look up some Vietnam war crimes just so so you love this country less so you can actually just dispassionately argue with these people? Maybe. Okay. Now it's time for us to do some reading, okay? This is my channel. I talk about politics. I am a political science student working towards getting my degree. I am working on becoming a more compassionate person. Uh, I did a good job of that for a while, and then I lost it. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the compassion again, okay? Because I love, I love all people, but right now it's, it's, it's becoming hard, all right? I used to live in Texas. I just moved across the entire country. And so this is my only source of income. So if you guys want to help a brother out by using, I don't know, like the Prime Subarino, all right, I would really appreciate that, especially since this is the last day of July. If you guys want to help me out and help a brother out who is unemployed, looking for work in a state that he's never even been in, hook a brother up. Use that donation link. Use that sub button. Let's go. <laughs> Left the promised land for Hoboland number 